Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm the old guy, Gaming Hand. Uh, this is going to be kind of probably a short update episode. Um, so a, a couple of announcements. Some of you might be wondering why the episodes have stopped coming out, because I was releasing them pretty much daily. Uh, there's two reasons for that. Uh, the first reason is that um, I'm I'm just in wait mode here. I mean, I, I've, I'm, I'm waiting for my shipyard to be built, and it's just taking a very long time. Um, and so there's not a whole lot of other things at the moment um, that, you know, that, that I, I can or want to do until the shipyard is finished. Uh, we've done all of the uh, mini missions for the research upgrades, and I've researched all of those all the way up to exceptional. I suppose we could maybe go try and pop a couple buck ships and see if we can get some of the, the parts for that. Um, so I've got that done. I don't really uh, want to to do missions in, uh, in this playthrough. I am planning on doing a new playthrough where we focus more on missions and, you know, and, and not so much empire building. And I, as I've, I think I've mentioned to you guys before, I, I think that'll probably be... It could even be a side series while we keep this this series going. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of hurry, hurrying up and waiting here. Uh, so that's partly why, you know, the videos have, have slowed down. Uh, but I have no intention, just to set your mind at ease, I have no intention of, of canceling this series. It's just, you know, the videos are not going to be every day now um, for, for a while. Um, the other thing that, uh, the, or the second thing just to be aware of is that, you know, seven days to die is, is my flagship game of this channel and always has been. And, um, they just came out for those of you who may not know, cause I don't know if, you know, people that are an X4 audience, they might not even know what seven days to die is, let alone play it. So for those of you who don't know what that game is, it's basically, in my opinion, one of the absolute best survival games that have, that's ever been made uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, and so, you know, all that to say, uh, they just came out with a new, uh, a brand new release of that game. And so I've been uh, playing a lot of that uh, lately. Um, so that's also affected, you know, the, the frequency of these, uh, of, of the videos here. So, okay. So anyway, we got that out of the way, but don't worry. Uh, I am not planning on stopping the series. It's just going to slow down a little bit here um, for a while. And um, so, you know, just let you know that. Okay, so let's see. There are a few other things I can update you guys on. I have, I went ahead, whoa, sorry. <laughs> uh, I went ahead, I don't think I've showed this, shown this to you, uh, but I have set up in Brennan's Triumph a huge Terran building supply factory. Um, and it's it's also, of course, in progress, as you can see here. And basically, this factory provides three things. It provides all, all three of the items that the Terrans need to build. So that's silicon carbide, uh, metallic micro lattice, and um, uh, a computronic substrate. So it, it's like I said, it, it, it's, it's a work in progress. It's just barely started. The reason I set it up in Brennan's Triumph is because um, we have good solar here. Uh, once you get in, get into the Terran sectors, you know, then the, the solar is, is really bad, at least in the lower sectors. And, uh, I wanted to kind of be somewhat close also to Commonwealth space too. And so, yeah, we, we set it up in, in Brennan's triumph and I've put uh Hurilis, Hurilis, which is my top manager uh, in charge of the station. So that way, you know, ships can go five jumps away. Now, the other reason I put this here is because when I myself were, was looking for all three of these items, uh, I had a hard time finding them in Terran space. I had to go all over the place and buy a little bit here, a little bit there in order to get enough to, you know, to, to I can't remember what. I, I think I needed to get that stuff to, to do some of the building on, on the main shipyard, if I recall right. But, I, you know, it was obvious that there's a shortage of these very important Terran building supplies. So this is our, our next you know, big factory that we have set up and hopefully it'll be quite profitable for us when the time comes. Um, I did, as you can see, I did put uh, Terran living quarters in here and I'm going to rely upon the Terrans to provide me with food and medical supplies for the inhabitants. 
rather than build, you know, those myself. So this is not a closed loop uh, installation. So um, we got that going on. All right, let's see what else. Docking aborted. Yeah, what else can I update you guys on? Um, I don't know that there's a whole lot more that that has happened since the last episode. I haven't actually looked over here for a bit. Nobody's yeah, everybody's completely ignoring the absolute best sector in the game for for gas and ice. <laughs> it's probably just because Tharkas are not Tharkas, but uh, fa free families are still trying to get back on their feet um, from being pounded so hard from the Xenon. And they they probably just don't have the wherewithal to, to set something up in there for now. So the, uh, you know, the, the universe is, is running pretty smoothly right now. The AI is doing a good job of, you know, of pushing back uh, the Xenon. They're, they're going to town on them, you know, without my help now, which is cool. But I think we've already looked at some of that in, in previous episodes. So, yeah. Um, seems to me like there was maybe one other thing that I wanted to update you guys on, but I can't remember exactly what it was. So it'll probably come to me at 3 o'clock in the morning, and then I'll wake up and call everybody and let you know what it is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway. All right, you guys. So, yeah, uh, things are going well. We're, we're sitting at 73.5 million in the wallet. We are at um, uh, 2.4 billion net worth. So we're doing really good there. And, oh, I know what else I was going to tell you guys. I know exactly what I was going to tell you guys. Um, I... I, and I may have already mentioned this to you, but I can't remember if I did or not. But I was going to go ahead and do the Hatikva storyline because of how it ties in with uh, the SCA. Um, but the problem is that I can't. And that's because I think the station, it, it's either because I. I passed some kind of point of no return uh, in my sandboxing and I can't do the mission now, or I think it, or either that or it's because the station that the Hitikva storyline starts with it has been destroyed. Um, I know there's tweaks that you can do uh, behind the scenes to look at my ships going along the thingy. That's cool. Uh, you know, there's tweaks that you can do to you know, like the config file or the save file to try and bring it back, but I don't know if I want to mess with that or not. Um, but if, if you, we, if we go here and we go into our messages and one of these old messages, I don't remember which one it was here. Let's just type in Hatikva. Yeah, this unique opportunity to help. If this was still um, an accessible quest, there I, I believe there would be a button here that we could click that would then uh, do a guidance mission to the station, and it's no longer there. And I, you know, I, I did a little bit of looking around and stuff, and so I, I apologize if I've already talked to you guys about this. I just can't remember because it's been a few days. Um, but anyway. So I, I'm at this point, and you know, I always reserve the right to, to change my mind. So, <laughs> uh, but at this point, I'm not planning really on doing any missions in this playthrough. This is our Empire Sandbox playthrough. I do have some, you know, I, I I'm gonna kind of create my own story, and I have been doing that actually in this playthrough. Um, so we're probably not gonna really do any more in-game missions unless you know I, I decide to change my mind about that. Um, instead, the tentative plan is to start a new, uh, either parallel series or maybe a new series after this or whatever, where we will focus on doing storylines and not so much on Empire stuff. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know. Did I show you what's left on here? So this is what's, uh, this is what's been built so far on our mega shipyard here. Um... 
and we still have 102 modules to go. And you know, the other thing that makes this a little tricky for me is that, you know, I have to have the game on and running in order for this to progress. It obviously doesn't do it behind the scenes like some online games might do. Um, so, you know, with, you know, doing this, all the seven days to die videos that I've been doing, um, and other stuff going on in real life, my, uh, my father is coming to, to live, live with us. And so my wife and I are, you know, got stuff going on around the house to prepare for that. We're, we're trying just, just little real life stuff for you. Um, we are, we, we have been in our house for like 22 years. Oh, for goodness sakes. Don't interrupt me now. Here, I'm pausing the game. <laughs> um, we've been, uh, in our house for 22 years and you know over that time we 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 have two children they're they're of course grown um my daughter's a zookeeper and my son is actually getting ready to uh enter medical school he was accepted to medical school so so proud of him but anyway um what was i trying to say so you know we had accumulated like 22 years of crap <laughs> you know in our house and in our basement and stuff and so you know we're in the process of trying to to, to get rid of all that stuff. And, you know, a lot of it's valuable stuff. We already had one yard sale. We made about $600. And, you know, but the problem is, you know, I live in Colorado and we have had so much rain, you guys, over the last four or five weeks, which is good. We need the rain because I live in a dry climate. The front range uh, in Colorado Springs is where I live, actually. Um, is It's a very dry environment. So the rain is is super good. But the problem is it rains almost damn near every day. And, and we've had a few days where it's rained like off and on in the entire day, which is unusual, you know, for this region. And of course, it's been raining on Fridays and Saturdays, you know, which is the best two days to do yard sales in our area. So, you know, we have our, our you know, our house is just full of crap that we're, you know, try, trying to get rid of and we can't because it keeps raining. So anyway, that's just, I'm just saying, telling you guys all of that. So you have a little bit of insight to what's going on in my, in real life, which of course has a little bit of an impact on the frequency, you know, of these videos as well. Okay, guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Like I said, it's just a short update episode. Um, I'm going to keep working on, you know, running the games and getting the shipyard finished. I'm very excited for it to get finished because once it is finished, then we can start making our own ships. So we can start building our own fleets and having big fighter wings. And we're going to take our carrier out and, you know, start wreaking havoc on uh, the Xenon and possibly might engineer a little bit of a war with some of the factions later. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, that is it. So I hope you guys are um, still enjoying the series and um, hope you guys can, will stick with it with me, even though it's slowed down a little bit. But uh, at least now you know the reason why. OK, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Got to move my camera over a little bit. Uh, leave a comment, share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.